What is up, pal fam? Welcome to day 50 of Countdown to Feedy 100. My name is Paul Emanuel Alvarados, aka Paul Pal, and I'm just like very, very crazy that we're now officially halfway done. <laughs> How is it like crazy? We just started on on April, and now we're now on closing out on May, and then we're like it's already 50 days. That is absolutely crazy, but we've come a long way, but the journey's not over yet. We still have 50 more to go. Alright, let's take a look in a 1973 game between Vladimir Bagurov and Edward Gofeld. Gofeld? I don't know what to say about this, but I'll take a look about this. Alright, Vladimir starts with d4, and Edward goes g6. Okay, interesting. Then there goes c4, bishop g7, knight c3, d6, e4, knight f6, f3, castles, bishop e3, knight c6, knight g e2, rook b8, queen d2, a6, bishop h6, and b5. Alright, now here goes interesting, but I can say that this one is a bit fine, but let's take a look if he takes it in the Mashenga Golobev game in 1992, so usually you have to take it. And let's see the openings book. B5, H4, Knight B4, Queenside Castle, B takes E4, Knight G3, C5, B takes, Knight check, Knight takes A2, Queen to A5, Bishop takes C4, Queen takes C5, Knight C3, Queen takes H5, Bishop E6, H takes, um, F takes E5, Rook takes B2, Knight g e4, queen b3, and so on. So, I think this is favorable for black here. I don't know what does it do for the variations and all this stuff. But I wonder why he does queenside castle here. I wonder what the point of it, doing the queenside castle in this position. That's what I'm thinking. Because this is already exposed for black. I know there's... He's just here defending. Whoops. He's just defending the king. But I don't understand. Right, b5, and there's h4, and Edward's mistaken with e5. There's always an exchange. e5, queenside castle. Yes, this is what I wondered. A castle, queenside. Yeah, I know we can go for this. Um, this attack in here but you can just simply well, where is based on oh you can just do simply rook d1 but i think it's a bit too dangerous as much as you cannot go here and here so castles we take castle e takes knight takes knight takes and rook takes and hereby makes the position equal after all you can go pawn here and probably knight and then I don't know if G4 is recommended. Oops, where did it go? I always click collect my moves for no reason. Yeah, G4. Knight G3, Rook G1, takes takes, and Bishop B7. And there was like F some of the candidates move F4, H5, and C takes B5. Alright. Back to the game. The exchange. H5, King H8. Knight d5, bishop, bishop takes, b takes rat only, h takes, h takes, queen h6, knight h5, and g4. A mistake by Vladimir Bagirov. There was like vulnerable for the pawn to be taken as he was like taking it. It's, I think it's a mistake, so why not castle it? I don't know why, but I don't know why he has to castle queen side because of this problems here. So c3, knight d takes c3. Queen e7, d5, knight e8, king b1, knight f7, queen e3, queen g5, and white's position will have a slight advantage here, and no more stuff in the openings book. So probably he's gonna go queen on here. Okay, so g4, yes. Now the 
safety of the king is in danger because with this rook takes b2 it's, it's now a problem if the rule stated that he can he can castle because he cannot he cannot attack he can the king doesn't go through check so that's allowed but I didn't think it's a bad idea so g takes h5 g5 rook g1 and g4 okay interesting enough he can just take it and then rook takes queen f8 takes takes rook g1 e takes d4 queenside castle so i guess he can go for queenside castle but the worries are the past pawn and this rook will be left hanging but at the same time there will be a rook readying to go for the battlefield and maybe as we're down to the end game we can just go for the center piece here back to g4 queenside castle okay but it keeps it leaves the a pawn hanging and i wonder like d takes e5 knight takes e5 so we can queenside castle here rook b8 but the good idea is rook takes a2 so rook b8 knight e f4 c6 knight g6 knight takes g6 and white will have us a, a better advantage here so it's gonna like h takes what are good moves nothing so rook b7 far far away goes knight f4 and so on queen's and castle then there's rook takes a2 that's what i've that's what i've thought and then knight e f4 i don't know what's the plan about it but you can the better position is d takes d takes knight e f4 oh knight takes not d takes knight e f4 king g8 knight e3 queen f6 queen takes rook takes knight f d5 and it's an equal position you can just like rook here um takes on here you can go rook Threatening, threatening the mate. So, what are the good moves? So, King B one. That's the outmost problem for White. So knight E F four, E takes F four. Now Edward has the slight advantage, but however Vladimir, another one made a mistake with knight takes F four. He has things he can do with bishop takes C four, threatening. Bishop takes A two, and then rook A three, King B two. Rook takes rook G F one, rook takes. Rook takes, rook takes, knight e5. What? He takes e5? What's the point? Is it a blunder? He can go knight a5. And then bishop a2. That's what I'm thinking. So back to knight takes f4. It was a mistake. So rook takes, rook queen takes c3. Bishop c4, rook a3. Okay. Now it's a, another problem. You can just simply go rook a4, then... Bishop b3, rook a3, king c2, a5, king takes c3, a4, rook b1, a takes b3. But isn't that a poison pawn? Because he is threatening for this. Isn't that so? You can just also go d5. And then here. And when he takes it, there's takes, takes, and here. But at the same time, he cannot. Oh, he cannot go. He just like takes takes. Back to rook a three. Vladimir, another one made a mistake with rook f takes g four. I know there's stuffing here, but he can go rook g two. Knight b four. King b one c two. Rook takes. Yeah, I don't know what's what's the point of king b one, but it's just like threatens here, and it's gonna be over. And then knight takes c2, king takes c2, rook takes f3, queen d2. And black is gonna be winning here. Back at here, there's knight b4. But that's a bad move. You can do bishop b7. Whoa, whoa. And rook gf1, knight b4, queen f8, queen takes, rook takes, king g7, rook f7, and black is gonna win here. There, back at knight b4, there's king b1, and then bishop e6 takes knight d3. I don't know why he sacrificed that bishop, but he has plans. Yeah, 
I don't understand. It's just orange and red. I guess it was stock. It's a different stockfish or something. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, there's C two, and you can go here, promoting to queen. You can lose it, and yeah. Well, at first glance, oh, he sacrificed that rook. Okay, I get it. So knight d three, queen f seven, queen b eight, bishop, rook, king c two, knight d four, and king takes b three. Now it's absolutely winning here. You just like let the king lose take give the rook but it's made in eight after king c1 rook b1 king takes knight b5 king c2 queen b2 king d3 and queen b5 what else you can go king and then if you can go here if he tries to go on here you can try here there check and it's checkmate if he goes here it's also checkmate oh not checkmate it's this checkmate but what I've meant is if he goes here queenie 2 let's see if he can go here it's checkmate regardless if he goes here it's also checkmate so with this final moves with knight d5 King c2, queen b2, king 3 and queen b5, Edward Godfield got Goofeld won the game. Because if the game would have continued, there's king c2, queen e2, rook d2, queen takes king b3, queen b2, king a4, queen a2, and it's all over. That is absolutely crazy, isn't it? With tons of sacrifices by Edward Goofeld. That's crazy. Alright, that should be it for today. Thank you so much for watching Palpa. Be sure to subscribe and become a Patreon member at patreon.com slash Power. Subscribe also to my vlog channel, Pal Vlogs. Follow me on Twitch, Paul Habaradas, X, Paul Habaradas, TikTok, Paul Habaradas, Instagram, Paul Power YT, Threads, Paul Power YT, Facebook, Paul Power YT, and join the Discord community as well. Click the link in the description if you want to improve your chess with 20% discount from me at Chess Mood. And yes, we finally made it to halfway. 50 down, 50 to go. Tomorrow, we're now onto the last 50. Well, to on May, and we're now about to arrive in June. But tomorrow, on May 31, we're gonna take a look at the 1974 game. At the same time, it was Fetus' 50th anniversary, the golden year. Wow. Well, that should be it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.